Well, hello once again. Welcome back or welcome for the first time to another haphazard recording with your host Lance Renard. I have made some recent discoveries over the past few days and would like to uh, go through those. I also put together three to four different videos that I posted two or three and pulled them down. So I apologize for doing that. But if it doesn't meet with my extremely high standards, I will have to pull it. So in this one, I am going to be splicing those videos together, going through the comments and sites of some of my subscribers, giving some information about what they're up to and doing and looking into, and also running over Google Earth and looking at some strange anomalies I found over in Europe, like a large Siberian heart and uh, a huge elf form that I found over there as well. And so that's the bulk of this particular issue. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you like the way I put it all together. Because this one was not easy. It's a combination of three to four different videos. So hopefully it'll splice out perfectly, and you'll enjoy what I've presented on this day, this holy day. So have a great time. Have a wonderful holiday, and uh, I hope you enjoy this. Dang Dudo 3, talk to you soon. Created entirely off the top of my head, just because it's, say, unscripted, that doesn't mean I haven't calculated it to some degree and determined in different what directions I am planning on going, not necessarily the words that I am intending to say. And so, with that being said, I always like to start out by thanking my subscribers and I apologize for uh, deleting yesterday's video. It was out of character, out of line, mister, and you're going to have to back down, back off, and admit it, when actually I had other intentions for the video, and it, uh, I got distracted, as today's, and today I'm going to be covering some of the videos that I've covered, and a few of the details and informations concerning giants, giantism, and uh, yeah, some of the comments. So enjoy, grab a box of popcorn, and I will continue forth and carry on, good man. Thank you for your subscriptions and comments. Detail, and what would happen if you were given a civilization? Would you be able to show them all of these things? Would you be able to train them and teach them and all of these different technologies and ways and informative ideas, like in starting fires or creating steel or you know, what? Could you teach a civilization? I think about that occasionally. You know, how much I really know about things. So, right. I just wanted to get some of this information out. Beginning to become accustomed to creating content for YouTube. And uh, I was looking through the content that I have created. And basically the category, if you look on the right side over here, let me put it to you this way. One time I checked myself and I was in between Dora the Explorer and SpongeBob SquarePants. Anyway, looking at these issues on the right side pretty much places me in specific or certain categories. <laughs> yeah, Shantae lives. She's always got some good stuff. Hey, you just noticed a new sub. Hee <laughs> thanks. That was nice. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, I will uh, sub to people just to check out their stuff, you know, why not? We should support each other in this uh, little universe or any way to give me any. That's me. I figure YouTube, if I get good enough, then YouTube will pay me and I don't need to ask anyone for anything. That's just me. So, right, let's go ahead and take a look at a few more of these. And now I also told Christy McGowan that I was going to readdress this issue um, because the shape of, she mentions the shape of our world as presented on Google Earth is nothing more than a disarticulated human skull of our Earth presented on Google Earth. Interesting. I'm going to pull, I'm going to check that out right now. So we'll just hop in here. Hi, Mom. Looking good with her uh, bush. And... And then in relation to the Google Earth, oh, there's a, hmm, the Google Earth setup, 
in relation. Now see how much less you can see here? You can just see, even if I zoom off, you can... Now in this representation we see the top view down and if you look down here on the Africa you see the definition of the eye, nose, mouth, the whole shot. Um, yeah, and just looking at the overall viewpoint from this type of perspective and uh, you know considering what has been conveyed relative comparison between this only see a slight detail try and line it up to what we're just looking at a little bit better um, right and then looking at the amount that you can see that's why I said they should be laid out in, in like the other map you're just looking at because you could see more in just one view and then zip down in on it rather than seeing parts you know this this just creates yeah an obfuscation in my humble opinion so looking at these in comparison to the idea is what we were doing and thank you for the comment Christy always appreciated and uh, everything is considerable in my opinion and just make a decision as to what you think could be well, I told you I'd reinvestigate this section and to look at the disarticulation of a specific skull so wanted to investigate that for Christy and take a look at the idea that the entire pieces are pieces of a big skull that's interesting I also like to keep my word in my recordings I wanted to show this from Jane Doe that she had emailed me to my email address uh, and it has different images and she says uh, she can feel the energy from this rock carving it was found by a man who goes to shoot off rockets in the nevada desert the farthest one he launches returns is 25 miles i believe it is well these now she's talking about her uh images well before the mayas in this area on google earth i see a woman captured I was on the boat on the day this megalodon shark's tooth was found on the Edisto River. This is miles from the coast, and many more have been found inland in Somerville, South Carolina. Thanks, have a fabulous day. And so I've downloaded these images. We're going to go ahead and take a quick look at them. And thank you, Jane, for sending that off. Appreciate that. And I just thought I'd go ahead and get into Jane Doe's images of what was sent to her from the guy that sends up rockets and that is an amazing little piece and to consider how that was created I know I saw Barnabas Nagy address this as a pressed piece in that you know it was soft and it was pressed and then hardened and it is a very curious and energetic little piece from the Nevada desert sent by Jane Doe she's got this in her at her home and that is great Jane thanks for sending that in it does make one consider the cure well thanks again go ahead and send in your images I will put them on display and uh, do a little consideration of what is what what's what with each detail that we uh, consider just matter and so there are a lot of great channels that I can refer people to that I haven't mentioned. Asha Logos and Captain Kirk. Hey, Captain Kirk. He's always got some great stuff on his. My own son, Seven Adventure, was his first channel. And he does um, video interviews, different interviews of movie stars and uh, musicians and video gamers. And then there's Brian Lundeen's headband. He's got some fantastic music. You had to pop over there and check him out. And then my son's music channel as well. So I wanted to bring up some of these, and he's just got this going. I mean, yeah, he does a lot of compositions that are just intricate and detailed. And, uh, yeah, he's really done a lot. I'm very proud of my good son, Seven. And, uh, right, wanted to bring up these details, show some of these folks. Trinity 4, really graceful. Hey, big shout out to Desert Sun Out, too. And, of course, Michael New, 1962. And Niven and everyone else. Uh, I'm going to get into a video. Thanks, Kristen. 
We've got Autodidactic and covering History Reset Mud Flood in Fremantle, Australia, Part 2 from Down Under. A big shout out to Autodidactic. And uh, let's go ahead and continue on with who. Take a look at the Flat Earth Nation talking about the Black Madonna and how that has been uh, ex being exposed and he's coming around to it and uh, and uh, showing some other sites that uh, I think earlier in this that he, he was, uh, yeah, Root Words 1, showing some of the information about how America, America is Egypt. Fascinating, Captain. Love that stuff, man. Thanks for putting that out. And a uh, big shout out to Flat Earth Nation and the Black Madonna information. Uh, feel free to pop on over there and check out what the awakening is all about. And then, of course, we got Barnabas Nagy telling everyone, I, I agree with you, Mr. Nagy, that, you know, we're a bunch of cattle stuck in a farm and we are just being, you know, used. And so that's my opinion as well. I like the, what he puts out. Big shout out to Mr. Nagarinus, Mr. Nagy, pardon me. And uh, yeah, is uh, is uh, it's curious and interesting. But it's part of the awakening to look at all the information that holiday juice, holiday, oi oi Martin Leedke, and uh, right, always wanting to check out people's viewpoints and what they're putting out today. And I have, yeah, I've had to be a little more selective in the videos that I personally have put out so I've deleted the past couple that I have I have uh, because I really don't like to mirror people that much uh, I do like to show them John Levy Levi always good to listen to your commentaries and information see the details like much like Martin Leedke waking people up showing them some new things conspiracy are us the lost technologies of the past and yeah, and I find fascination in all of this as well as you, as we all do, and appreciate these channels to be able to view and consider. And I thought I'd go into Conspiracy RS's uh, video briefly, and he's going into the land before time where some extra installments have been put into the man-made lakes of Africa details, and it is very interesting on how this, uh, take a look at Google Earth from above, you see these spirals coming in, and um, yeah, and he's going through this uh, this curious information here, I'm going to just play a little bit of it, see where it is now. But it seems like they're working on the, the, that idea and principle, now I don't know what exactly about this design would induce um, water to inundate and take over these areas but there's probably some principle that we just don't know about or somebody knows about it, but i i do not know about but yeah it's really uh really interesting stuff and here are some of the this is just a, a zoom in on these floating the floating I islands and uh, creating lakes but, uh, yeah, using spirals really and so of course I have to go ahead and check that out and I just put the marker on Lake Zimbombo which I noticed on that video and I pointed this lake out on the right with the square in a, in a prior video as looking like a man-made lake because of the right angle now if we get down in on Lake Zimbabwe, get down on it, we see confuscation immediately with all of these things. But yeah, there's the floating islands uh, type of look right here that he was talking about. And quick look over here for any type of spiral patterns. Now I've looked all over in different areas for spirals. Um, and haven't found them but I have found a lot of these floating islands and every time it's almost every time nearly every time I get uh, want to zoom down in on one area it starts to become blocked with these you know plates so anyway I want to give that a quick check because that's how it is here in my new channel universe to check out things that I'm looking at and uh, verified discoveries 
these are curious and uh, I don't see any of the spirals however um, I don't want this to be a three hour video so I'll just run this quick survey and uh, yeah check things out so let's get on here and so once again thank you conspiracy rs we'll get on to finishing comments and into a folder briefly thank you and this woman here i wanted to mention michelle gibson michelle my no singing but the thing is she she put a lot of research into this uh checking out the the uh lines that are crisscrossing here i'll just play just a touch of this this world map was given to me by one of my travel buddies in Oklahoma in 2014 or 2015. She thought I needed it. So it just sat there on my table where I studied it for quite some time while eating before I started noticing major cities lining up in lines in North America. So that's an interesting video and uh, she sat and sat on her table and she studied it and I just can't imagine studying anything. It's just thank you Michelle for doing that your homework and check out Michelle Gibson's uh, link and check out her, her the information that she's gone through on how these lines cross uh, cross over different cities and she has done a lot of intensive research in laying out and showing from Google Earth different alignments um, and so yeah it's it's quite a bit quite a bit to get into um, I'm love watching this kind of thing and I thought I would expose that momentarily that will be coming up here in just a little bit but I wanted to go through here's C. Vesalis big shout out to C. Vesalis and he goes around and finds different things to uh, you know video and post and I think that's great and there's a lot of people that are doing that um, this guy is great Jeff uh, Berwick I believe his name is and he really it's almost like a, a lot of people that. in the U.S. go into almost like a panic, and I just kind of realized... Oh, uh, the brainwashing. I wonder if they with, think, like, the roads are just going to disappear because the president got shot. Like, that's that's how, like, brainwashed they are. Yeah, and, I, and of course, I if anyone's watched this guy, he's great, um, and he puts on some, some people that have really devoted their time and lives, like Larkin Rose, to waking people up, to um, exposing the brainwashing that we are all exposed to I'm totally brainwashed but I'm doing the best I can with it and so right just wanted to give out this short moment uh, shout out to UAP and other um, great channels that I subscribe to just wanted to let you know that uh, you know it's all part of our universe to wake each other up become more aware and look at some uh, curious anomalies and have fun doing it too so let's get on with this then and so you know a great part of what I do is take a look at the uh, anomalies that we can see from above and point out some of the details that I observe. I've gotten a lot of appreci appreciation for that. Uh, well, I just, if you look at this over here um, where my hand is right there and you see this is like a pointy ear right here like a Spox ear and then an eyeball and a face looking off to the left side as this is would be that like the top of the head this is the ear just notice that um and this kind of a little smiley smile eyeball you see that i'm just going to back off because it's got the neck area and then the shoulder area and it follows down around to um you know a form that seems somehow familiar as if someone had been lying there decomposed and uh right these and one thing about this elf lying here, or this elven, elven shape, is the uh, direction that he, he or she or it is pointing right towards Spain, uh, pointing out that direction. I thought I'd have to go ahead and uh, point that out, so to speak. Or the elven shape lying here in the Europe area. Oh, yeah, and I should probably put on the see who lives on the ear of the elf. I'm just going to places, borders, and labels. And then, uh, whoops, kind of lost my bearing there. There we are. And Prague, and it is just right over here. And uh, Jelenia Gora is right next to the elf's ear. 
So just let anyone know who's out in Jelenia Gora. You're living in the ear of an elf. And what, what this? What is this? This is some kind of temple thing right here. Hmm. So yeah, just found the old elf in Europe. The European elf. Elf. Lying there by Prague in the Czech Republic. Let me go ahead and take that. I can't see it with the places and borders in the small view. That is kind of interesting. I'm going to bring that up. And there are a few others up here. Um, but to keep from getting too long-winded in this particular video. And I am going to be doing more searching in this area and comparing things to maps. And looking through your comments on what you think about this fairly definitive outline with the chest stomach I mean it is uh, I'm surprised I hadn't seen it earlier I just tend to glaze over things all right well the kinds of strange little things we run across like the spirals in Africa I didn't find any of those spirals but I'm gonna stay on it I'm gonna keep up with it and uh, you know continue to work on the awakening process of you know that's and it looks like his other arms right here reaching up this direction it is with the armpit right there hmm never picked that out before and there are going to be a, a lot of things that I will be looking for and as I'm sure that you are well aware if you've seen any of my past videos I can tend to get a little distracted and start in one subject and end far far removed and then remind with the cliche comment that everything is connected and it is but to uh, actually show the association as part of my objective here in my new channel universe this video got a little bit more interesting with the elf in Europe the elven European anomaly and I'm sure there are quite a few others that a good artist could envision however that one was fairly definitive in its formation. The rest of this area doesn't seem to have that sort of curious definition. Although this down here, if you turn this up this way, this almost has a heart-shaped appearance. And then I would be looking for the you know veins across the arterial veins, etc. etc. I'm going to back off on that again. And just look at the yeah it looks like a heart shape right here top up and around this way and the curve and then the bottom down here so there's a lot you can you could say read into but it's also uh, hey notice for the first time and that's my curiosity here I'm going to be going through a lot of those so any and every comment that you know, to many people seems so oh, ridiculous. It uh, can actually have some really good content. And it, then you, when you get back on it, there are verifiable acts, aspects that maybe a doctor would notice in my comments, you know, to discredit or say, you know, nah, that couldn't be. Or, like Michael Tellinger, say, yeah, you know what, that could be a really massively big heart. Now let's look for the other organs around it, sort of thing. So... I'm going to keep up on these details and keep looking at this dried paint in the ocean over Ask Mickey and Goofy who put that there and every other Disney character. It, yeah, I still, that looks like a man's body with two legs. <laughs> it's still, who, who does this paint job down here? Here, I found somebody laying there on his back right here. His arm, his head's up here, the other arm's there, the two legs coming out. Finally found something on the bottom of the ocean. I wonder if he's holding a treasure chest over here. So yeah, I do like to make fun of things. It's part of the enjoyment here. I will have some more uh, thoroughly edited and uh, completed videos on their way. It's a matter of time, energy, and subscribers. So like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to call. Or, you know, keep sending your gifts, and I never ask for cash, so forget about that. And in the meantime, keep, yeah, keep looking for squids and stuff and let me know what you think. Thanks for your time and energy and comments. We'll talk to you soon. 
Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Talk to you soon again. Bye.